Meantime, our country's biggest LGBT film festival is going on. It's called Inside Out, taking place in Toronto, and it brings together some of the best and brightest films and filmmakers from Canada and around the world. More than 175 films, in fact, running until the beginning of June. And there's a lot of great stuff to see. Documentaries and dramas, comedies, you name it, short films and full-length films. For more on the importance, we're joined by Andrea Wilson, the executive director of Inside Out. Good to have you on. Thanks so much for this. Great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I know you guys have been around for a long, long time. I, myself, have been involved in different capacities over the years. Tell me why it's so important to have this kind of thing in our country, Andrea. I mean, this is the 27th year of Inside Out. That's such an amazing feat. That's such an amazing accomplishment. And I think, you know, we're all aware of the amazing strides that have been made in the community uh, over these, these past 27 years. But there's still a lot of work to be done. And I think one of the really amazing things that a film festival in particular can do is really highlight those stories and those voices that might have been underrepresented in, in other media. Uh, and I think that still remains a really, really critical role for us to play uh, within Canada and around the world. And I wonder as well about what a festival like this does, Andrea, to kind of challenge some of the attitudes or the stereotypes that still persist in 2017 when it comes to this community. Absolutely. I mean, film, you know, sitting in that cinema and seeing the story unfold in front of you is one of the greatest... Um, you know, things for creating empathy for people. And I think if, if folks are exposed to those stories and get to learn more about these individuals and these voices that they may not have heard before, uh, it can be really powerful in, in changing their minds and, and creating new opportunities for them to, to learn and to be engaged in the community. I know a key part of this for you and, and the folks who put together the schedule, you know, is trying to figure out what to include. And there's a couple of films. One of them I want to get uh, on while you and I are talking is uh, a film called Behind the Curtain, Todrick Hall. And some people might not be familiar, but it centers around Todrick Hall. He's a YouTube sensation. Uh, and this is really a very intimate kind of behind the scenes look at a guy who's known for being very colorful and very crazy. But of course, there's a lot more to Todrick Hall than that. Absolutely. We love this film. It's such an intimate portrayal, really, of someone that, you know, I think with many YouTube stars or social media personalities, people feel like they know them in, in that intimate way. But this documentary really shows us that there is so much more to these individuals that you've seen in 30-second snippets on YouTube. You know, there, there's such a rich life there. There's so much to be discovered. And, you know, so much in the case of Todrick that he can speak to in terms of, you know, his experiences as a black gay man, his experiences working, you know, in and out of drag and it's really a just a captivating documentary from a, a really brilliant and quite established um, documentary filmmaker so it's an interesting um, coming together of kind of the classic documentary form with this uh, you know new sort of avant-garde YouTube personality one other thing that I want to get your take on is you know there are of course many different countries around the world in which being LGBT is illegal mm -hmm. criminal you know we see attacks in Chechnya or Indonesia the Middle East and I wonder a film festival like this happening in Canada, sort of bringing people in from around the world who recognize our country as really one of the leading lights when it comes to progressivity on this issue. Absolutely. I think in the next few years, it's going to be more and more apparent across our LGBT organizations in Canada how critical our role is in helping folks that are coming to this country and also, you know, working to share their stories in the best way that we can, which is to present artistic content, to present film, to present conversation to our community here in Toronto and across Canada and really educate and help to, to engage people in this struggle. Um, there's so many stories out there that need to be shared and we really hope that they can come together in a format like our festival and we can really affect some positive change. Andrea Wilson, Executive Director of Inside Out. Andrea, great to have you on and of course very proud that CTV is a big sponsor this year and I'm a part of it too. Thank you for coming on the show today. Great to have you. Thank you so much for having me.